I'm Marianella for the new Simple on Amazon.com. Okay, two ways to upgrade the sound in your car. One, leave this guy at home. Hey! Or two, install new high quality JBL or Infinity speakers. Yes, it's time to talk nerdy to you. Fact, your car stereo stock head unit is matched to your car's stock speakers, meaning your head unit sends exactly the right amount of electrical energy to move your speakers. Result, big sound. Good news, those cheaply made stock speakers can be loud. Bad news, they sound, you know, bad. Oh, simple, just upgrade your speakers. Sure, but if those new aftermarket replacements aren't optimized for your head unit's power specs, they literally won't move. So, not enough volume. Solution, high quality speakers made of top materials that don't need much power to get loud. Example, JBL and Infinity. They're engineered with reduced resistance. So, your lower power head unit can still push them. Loud and crisp and clear too. You like it when I talk nerdy. I'm Marianella for Amazon.com. Marianella for the new Simple on Amazon.com. Okay, want a quick sound quality upgrade? Try rolling up the windows. Also, aftermarket speakers, almost always better than your car stock equipment. Why? In a word, materials. And in another word, crossovers. And in another word, components. First, materials. The sound producing cones in stock car speakers are often made of paper. Benefit, cheap. Problem, bad. Humidity equals soggy paper. Ergo, soggy sound. Instead, look for materials like polypropylene, Kevlar, even titanium. Stiff, light, better sound. Next, crossovers. Like traffic cops, crossovers direct specific frequencies of sound to the parts of the speaker designed to handle them. In this coaxial system, with all cones in one place, it looks like this. Great sound. Your stock speakers likely have one driver for all frequencies. Imagine singing bass and tenor at the same time with the same vocal cords. Ah, mm, 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 mm. Finally, component speakers. As in, nice crossover, plus different cones for different frequencies in different parts of the car. When combined, you hear crisp highs and lush lows. The catch, component installation can be harder. Wait, how low can you go with these speakers? Well, you'll want a subwoofer too. Check out the widest selection of car audio and video products on amazon.com slash car electronics. Marianella for the new Simple on Amazon.com. You don't just want to hear music through your car stereo, you want to feel it, man. So consider a subwoofer, a dedicated speaker that handles frequencies below 200 hertz, meaning fewer than 200 sound waves per second. The bass. But subwoofers are not for shaking the windows and vibrating your spleen, although in certain circumstances that would be nice. Fact is, good subwoofers can help your car stereo with high frequency sound too. How? Subwoofers play the low frequencies so the car's smaller speakers don't have to. Result? The little tweeters can focus on their specialty, the upper register. Most subwoofers come in three sizes, eight, 10, and 12 inches. Some have the amplifier built in, but some don't. Make sure you get an amp if your sub doesn't have one. Now match your sub to your music preference. A smaller sub is often in a wooden box with a speaker on one end, fits in the trunk or under a seat, 
gives you tight, accurate base, but needs a powerful amp to drive it. Type two, bigger ported subwoofers. Holes or vents let out more of the speaker's sound, but can be a little boomier. Three, and often the biggest, a subwoofer sealed in a box with a plexiglass cover. Cool. Does well only in a narrow frequency range and sounds really boomy. Polka. Want more car audio tips? Check out the widest selection of car audio and video products on amazon.com slash car electronics.